Ken Farmer, last ride, take one. Make a statement? Yes, sir. I guess it was a heart attack. He had two broke ribs. You know anything about that, son? He got in a fight with this woman yeah, last night. And, uh, uh, oh, God, I, I shouldn't have let him go in there. He was feeling so bad. I just And I let him drink whiskey and moonshine and, and beer. And, and, then, and then I I left him for a little while. I'm so sorry, Mr. O'Keefe. Rode with him for six years. Worked with him for ten. This ain't the first time this happened. I can promise you that. He did it himself. He didn't need no help from you or anybody else. You understand? What's going to happen now? Take him back to Alabama, I guess. You going to need a driver? No, oh, we'll handle it. You need to steer clear of that vulture fight that's about to break out. Wish the hell I could. Leave all you some money. No, sir. I, I won't take it. I didn't earn, earn it. I didn't do what you hired me to do. You did what he wanted, son. No one wanted to do this trip but him. He also said in a note to give you some money to buy a radio, whatever the hell that means. Now, I got some work to do before the family gets here. Shall I stay for the police? No, I'll handle it. Could somebody maybe get me over to the bus station? Well, you can get there yourself, son. What you do from there is your business. Now, I'm not a lawyer. And I don't know if he was ever of sound mind. But this is his signature. Which makes you the new owner of that automobile there. I reckon something went right out there. I, I can't. Why not? Hell, <laughs> it was his to give. There's going to be plenty left over for the family to fight over. Trust me. Should I just come back now? You can do whatever the hell you want. But I'd do it pretty damn quick if I was you. Thank you, Mr. Combs. You done good.